video made by me. I'm not sure when you're seeing this. I'm recording it on Tuesday. Just knowing me is probably coming up on Wednesday, but who knows? But um, yeah, basically just my NFL playoff predictions. I've got the bracket right here. The ones I've already clicked on are the ones in the first round. Bye. Right, okay. Anyway, let's just get right into it. Uh, Titans Patriots first game. Or no, just first game here. AFC and then NFC. Yeah. Okay. That's the first game. Uh, okay. Um. <clears throat> Titans Patriots, as much as I want to click the Titans, I'm a Dolphins fan, so that was awesome how we beat the Patriots. I made it so we're not talking about the Chiefs here, which would have made my decision harder, because, um, Titans already beat the Chiefs, so they can. Probably would have went with the Chiefs still, but, uh, I made in the middle of a video. Um, that, that's interesting. Um, but... In Foxborough, it's the playoffs. And, I mean, playoff Brady, I'm going to go with the Patriots here. The Chiefs had a bye. They're going to play the Raiders. Okay, but, um, <clears throat> Bills and Texans, I've already thought about this one. This is about the only one I've already thought about. I know exactly who I'm going to pick, but let me justify my answer real quick. Defense always wins. I'm a defensive guy. I love defense. I mean, mostly because I'm the tallest person pretty much at, like, school, and every time I play, like, basketball or something, I'm always getting taller than other people, so I get to play good defense, and I'm good at defense. Defense is fun. I like defense. Defense always wins. Defense is the premier way to play. It's not very good year to year. Like, it's hard to consider. Football is less consistent than, like, basketball and stuff, but I'm... Bills are going to beat the Texans, I think, in Houston. Seahawks, Eagles, I already knew who I was going to pick, so I'll just do it, but Eagles are probably, this is going to be considered an upset. I have the Eagles, at least I'm not sure if I have them going to the conference final yet, or NFC championship, but Eagles are the most underrated team in the league. They're just insanely good. And Seahawks, Seahawks are good. Hopefully Russell Wilson wins MVP. He probably won't. Well, Jackson still is MVP. But, um, yeah. See, Eagles will beat the Seahawks, I think. Also, this video will count as my wild card predictions. And if and when all my picks are correct, then... Okay, so basically, I'm going to make a divisional round video pick thing and like you know yeah it'll be a divisional pick round unless all these are right which they probably will be but just knowing me I'm sure probably all of them will be wrong and I do see a world where all of these except of course this one goes wrong but yeah, Saints, Saints will beat the Vikings. Yeah, I have a strong feeling about that. Because Vikings aren't a very good team. I mean, they're, they're a very good team. I mean, Saints are a much better team. They aren't very good compared to the Saints. And it's in New Orleans. I'm pretty confident the Saints win. Ravens, Patriots. Okay, now this is the weird one. The Patriots aren't an amazingly good team this year. And I do say defense always wins. And you guys are going to think I'm actually an insane, moronic, idiot person here. But, as much as I don't want to do it, Patriots are going to beat the Ravens. I, th I, I think they will. Now, I hope this doesn't happen. I'd rather take a loss and this not happen than it happen. But... As much as I hate the Ravens, too, they beat us by, like, a lot of points. But defense always wins. Lamar is one of the more overrated players in the league. And, um... Why do you, why do you guys think the Ravens already beat the Patriots? And the Fox World always say, blah, 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 blah. Ravens is not a fair. Yeah, well, if the Dolphins didn't beat the Patriots, 
Would you say that the, uh, the Chiefs would lose to the Titans just because that already happened? Or if the Texans beat the Bills, would you say that they'd beat the Chiefs because they already did it? Or, like, would you say... Uh, I don't really know what else to even say there, but still, would you say those things just because they beat them? I think the Patriots lost that game because Bill Belichick saw a way to stop Lamar Jackson, and he's going to do it here. And defense is just better than offense. It works most of the time. Why do you think the Bears are such a successful team with a garbage offense? Offense just carries over from year to year. It's a Pretty much a one and done strategy if you go with an amazing defense and a bad offense. It works, but it just doesn't carry over, especially if you're like injured and they leave in free agency quite a bit. But anyway, so Patriots, I think, will beat the Ravens. This is my full predictions video, but just the wild cards will be counted in this video, like as a separate video, unless, of course, all the picks are right. I've explained that. Okay. Chiefs and Bills. Okay, now, I say defense always wins. I, I didn't mean always, always wins. Oops. Um, I'm not sure what, else, what to say and how to justify this. Chiefs have the best offense in the league, probably the best offense I've ever seen, and I've watched for a few years now, like since... See, Super Bowl 50 was my first full year of really being into football. That, uh, I think the Chiefs are the best offense I've seen. Bills aren't the best defense I've seen, that's for sure. Um, yeah, just... As much as I'd hate to have the Patriots and Bills in the conference championship, because... Uh, I'm a Dolphins fan, I've already said that, but these both are in our division. But anyway, um, Chiefs are think will beat the Bills just because of how insane their offense is and how well their defense is starting to play the last few weeks. Niners, Eagles. Who I'm gonna skip this just for a second. Packers, Saints. Okay, I'm gonna skip that one too. Okay, so back to the Niners and Eagles. Um, ah, this is gonna be a good game. I'm just gonna let the Seahawks win. But like, Niners and Eagles would be an insane. Uh, I'm yawning though. Insane game. That'd be awesome. I mean, Niners, dude, they've lost the three teams. They've lost to the Falcons. They've lost to the Ravens. And they've lost to the Seahawks. These are probably my two favorite quarterbacks in the league, other than Taysom Hill, who is you know, on the Saints. He played for BYU. Basically, any quarterback that I don't have a bias to, meaning no Dolphins, even though I hate Josh Rosen, meaning no Dolphins and no BYU, so like, no Taysom Hill. These are probably my two favorite quarterbacks in the league. Playing, Wentz is number one. Garoppolo's two. I have them both on my fantasy team this year. Wentz did. He didn't do amazing in the start of the year. Neither did Garoppolo, but they picked it up as they, or at least the Garoppolo got better and Wentz got better and played easier teams because they had like the hardest schedule ever, pretty much. At least from what I remember, I've never seen a team play that many amazingly good teams in that amount of time. But, like, yeah. Hmm. I'm going to go with the 49ers just because the, um, they're at home. Then my, I'd be fully okay with being wrong. Then everyone who's been screaming at me at school and everywhere else, and I've said Eagles are a good team, they'll make the playoffs, so ha. Huh. And will make the conference championship. I would have said they'd at least be in the Super Bowl. Maybe not win, but be in the Super Bowl probably to start the year. Now I'm saying they're losing here. This is a lot lower than I ever expected to have them finish. But 
49ers are a good team. I didn't expect them to be this good. I was always high on Garoppolo. I drafted Garoppolo in my fantasy league before, um, like, the season started, obviously. So, I was always high on them, but same with the Eagles, obviously, because I thought they'd be in the Super Bowl. But I didn't think the Niners would be this good. So, I'm going to go with the Niners. Packers and Saints, though. This is a hard one. Hard difficultness. Um, think. It's in New Orleans. Saints are an, an insane team. The let's see, there's been a couple teams that have been the number one team in the league. At least in my opinion, week to week, Saints have been one of them. Towards the beginning of the start of the season, I said Eagles for sure. Then. Probably Patriots would have been the next team to have that. But then when they started to show weakness against bad teams that they were playing, I probably would have said Niners and then Ravens. Or no, I would have said Saints, then Niners, then Ravens. Ravens are... Uh, actually, I wouldn't have said Ravens, probably. So they're one of three teams that I would have said are the best team in the league. Eagles are still top five, but, yeah, okay. And they're at home, well, no, 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 it's in Green Bay. Snowy Green Bay for a playoff game. I'm going to go with the Saints. You know why? Because I really can't make up my mind over who I think will win, so I'm going to go with um, Taysom Hill's going to have an insane game because he was originally signed to the Packers as an undrafted free agent. They He was the last person they cut. They're hoping to get him on their practice squad. They didn't because the Saints are smart. He's going to get a revenge game, have a million touchdowns. He has more touchdowns than, like, DeAndre Hawkins. Think about that. Now, if we were allowed to play two quarterbacks in fantasy, I'd probably play him in the second one. Because, or, no, you know what we should do? No, I, I don't, I'm not the, like, group leader of my fantasy league. That's my uncle, but... So I don't really know all the options you can, but if you can swap out, or if you can make Taysom Hill eligible for defense and special teams, I'd, I'd actually do that. I actually thought about getting him, but then I realized, oh yeah, he's still listed as quarterback even though he plays running back receiver more often than that. Anyway, so Saints, I think, will be over the Packers. Patriots, Chiefs, okay. Best defense versus best offense. Not just like last year. But, um... Ugh. Chiefs, Steve, okay. I have Chief, Chiefs in the Super Bowl. Okay. I probably would have said they win the Super Bowl the start of the year, just because even before the year, I probably th I thought Eagles secondary isn't a very good secondary, so they're probably going to get torched by Tyreek Hill and Mike Mahomes and stuff. So, they're still in the Super Bowl, I guess, for me. Patriots and Chiefs, yeah, Chief, Chiefs will beat the Patriots. Again, defense always wins. Not in, well, actually, I don't know. Probably this is just mostly I don't want the Patriots in the Super Bowl again. However you want to think about it, I still think Chiefs will pull an upset. At, this is at home, by the way. Chiefs over the Patriots. Chiefs, okay, winner of this game is in the Super Bowl against the Chiefs. Niners Saints, neither are the best team in the league. They're at home for the Super Bowl. Drew Brees is an experienced quarterback. This is probably his last shot, realistically, to make a Super Bowl. Maybe next year, but depends on if he resigns or not. I don't even know if he did that, because he'd be a free agent if he didn't, but... Uh, Niners Saints, Niners Saints, Niners Saints. Uh, just, I mean, 49ers have a young team. Also, um, <laughs> just a funny thing. Uh, at the beginning of the year, I watched TPS is Mad Man versus Madden, I think is what it was, and like the full season simulation. First of all, Marcus Mariota won MVP, so that's kind of weird. But I think the 49ers 
I know the 49ers got to the Super Bowl, though. This is before we knew they are good. I can't remember if they won or not. All I know is they got there, and that's actually hilarious. How Madden's actually smarter. He's smarter than 2K is. But then again, we were all thinking that 2K was stupid, saying Raptors won. Okay, we get it. Raptors are good. Blah, blah, blah. And they actually won, so... Not sure what else to say now. Besides, Steph Curry's overrated. But, like... Ugh. Back to football talk. Um, Saints. Chiefs and Saints Super Bowl. That's what I have. Okay, and Fred Warner played for BYU then. So this would be two defensive players in the Super Bowl for... Well, with these two, like, these four teams, all of them have a BYU player. Coincidence? I think not. Patriots, Kyle Van Noy, Chiefs, Daniel Sorensen, Niners, Fred Warner, and Saints, Taysom Hill. All of them are, I mean, Daniel Sorensen is not a huge part, but he's a, he just got an interception to basically seal the game. So, against the Chargers, Van Noy's an amazing, or maybe not amazing, but a really dang good linebacker. Fred Warner is the leader of the defense, at least. I'd say for sure a top for sure a top four player on their defense. I'd say top I'd say um Boza would be the only person probably better than him. And Taysom Hill is awesome. <laughs> I can't say anything else. Mr. Swift's army knife himself. But we got Sorensen versus Hill. In the Super Bowl. Um Uh, now, uh, I know who my pick is, I'm not going to show you yet, but let me just ask you a few questions. Whose defense do you think is better on this team? Probably the Saints. Whose offense is better? Well, Chiefs are number one in the, in the league, so obviously Chiefs. Is the Chiefs defense good? Well, I mean, it's, it's at this point, average. Which is a lot better than, like, bottom five last year, but... <laughs> and Saints offenses, I mean, Rui is old, and he can still throw really good, but... Let's oh, get used to Patrick Mahomes. <sighs> Let's go position by position, I guess. Patrick Mahomes wins the quarterbacks. Running backs, probably Kamara. Um, fullback doesn't matter. Receiver. Saints have... Well, I don't know. Saints have Michael Thomas and Taysom Hill, pretty much, basically. Um, but Chiefs have Tyreek Hill. That's scary. But I'd say Thompson. I had Thompson or Thompson Thomas on my fantasy team. He's my second round pick. Hopkins was my first, which is kind of sad. I should have done it the other way around. Someone else would have got Hopkins, and that would have been bad. Cause I had no one else to pick at that point. The only reason I picked two receivers in the first was because uh, there wasn't very many good running backs. So I ended up with Joe Mixon, then Leonard Fournette was my next two, and then I think Josh Jacobs was my next. I don't know. I just know I got those five. I don't remember what order. Or at least those last three were, actually. I don't remember which order Fournette and then Jacobs was, or where they were. I just know it went Hopkins, Thomas, Mixon. Two of which were bad picks, but the rest of my picks, I had Chris Godwin, because I knew he'd be a good player, but, um, I'm not second-guessing myself, but offensive line Chiefs have that pretty much for sure, they have one of the better lines in the league, and Mahomes can run around better than Breezley's. Defense, obviously Saints have it as a whole, but, like, Defensive line doesn't make a oh, huge defense. Chiefs defensive line was like Chris Jones and Derek Nani. Kind of scary. So I'd say Chiefs probably have a better line. Um, linebackers. Who's the Chiefs linebackers? I forget now. I don't know. So skip that. Safety or DBs, I should say. 
um, pretty much, jeez, Daniel Sorensen, obviously, yeah, um, but, like, Chiefs, or Saints obviously have better linebackers if, but, um, if the Chiefs have the two lesser valued positions, and Saints are a bit, okay, but anyway, um, I'm second-guessing myself now, um, and my pick to win the Super Bowl is, Drumroll. Chiefs. Chiefs will win the Super Bowl. So this is my pick. I'm just going to go create a Google Doc showing you guys, like, the wild card picks. And my overall record and stuff like that, you know. Okay, so I'll just uh, see you guys there at least, I guess. Alright, from here we go, I went 10 6 last week, um, as you now see my regular season record up there, because regular season's over, I'm gonna have an all-time record up at the top, um, after the season, I guess, before we start 2020, I have to sneeze, so I'll hurry and do this. Basically, I mean, you already saw, so I don't really need to really show you, but these are my official picks for the wildcard round. And, yeah, see you guys in the next video. This was a long video, probably the longest video I've ever uploaded. That was fun thinking about things, though. But just, yeah, see you guys in the next video. Uh, this is not one of the videos I was talking about on Sunday when I said videos. I should probably start working on that now, but... Just see you guys in the next video, whatever it may be, and see you.